taking callers from around the world. The world is excited. We're here with Dr. J. Andy Elias, who's going to be introducing us from drjradiolive.com. Dr. J. Absolutely. The legend is back. The king of late night radio, the godfather of paranormal radio, listed as literally the top five most influential radio hosts of all time. The one and only Art Bell returning from retirement July 20th, everybody. When this is broadcasting this coming Monday that everybody will hear it, Monday the 20th. And we've already released the first guest. Art has already been speaking about it. President Kennedy died. And the final liftoff of Discovery. They, they are not what they claim to be. And you are on the air. the legend himself, Mr. Art Bell. I hear, by the way, that third phase moon puts a lot of stuff up, a lot of videos, a lot of pictures of UFOs, and lets people decide for themselves. And that's what I do, too. You know, I think that's the best way of going about this, uh, you know, phenomenon. Nobody could actually nail it right on the head and go, hey, this is what it is. You know, it's a, it's an unidentified flying object. Yeah, I think we, uh, you know, we're getting about 10 to 12 different UFO sightings on a daily basis. And you know what? NASA is pretty much the ones that, you know, keep it going. They're the ones that are making the mistakes by uh, putting this stuff out and then again trying to cover it up afterwards. That's what I find so funny. I'm really glad you mentioned NASA because there was a recent video, I'm sure you have seen it, I'm sure you probably got it posted, but it shows objects, as we're not, it was taken from the space station, and it shows objects leaving the atmosphere, no question about it, leaving the atmosphere and going into space, and then suddenly a NASA, a little NASA thing pops up and says, oh, uh, something went wrong with the video feed. <laughs> You know, it's funny you mention that because six times in the last year and a half, the cousins, the brothers, have actually uh, recorded NASA uh, ISS footage being filmed, UFO footage, and then they cut the feed within 24 to 48 hours. Twice they called me and asked me if I could screen capture it for them to make it, and sure enough, the moment they uploaded it, boom, the mainstream media cuts it out. Oh, well, there you go. Um, yeah. I've had my own sighting, uh, my unquestioned sighting. Something wow. for me, you know, at 150 feet, I felt like I could have thrown a rocket. And my, what, what, my wife and I were on the way home from Las Vegas, and my wife said, what the hell is that? You know, she could see it in the rearview mirror. And I pulled the car over, stopped about, oh, I don't know, maybe a half mile from home, something like that. And we both got out of the car, looked up, and this gigantic triangular object floated directly above us directly above us and I felt like I could have thrown a rock at it I was in total shock this was before the days of you know easy quick pull the camera from your hip and take a, a photograph <laughs> sure. camera with me but um, the next week it turns out that a whole bunch of people in the uh, Pahrump Valley had seen this and they called the Air Force Base the newspaper called the Air Force Base, and the Air Force Base said, oh, yes, there may have been a secret mission that overflew the Pahrump Valley that night. It was a C-130 aircraft. <laughs> sure it was. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, sure right. it was. A C-130, that's a flying saucer, that's right? right. Uh, you know, it would have rattled my teeth. This thing made no sound whatsoever. It was defying gravity. Absolutely. You know, uh, Art, it's uh, incredible to hear, you know, your uh, close encounter. You know, I think that's what's going to be happening. Once you go live on air, people are going to be sharing more and more what's going on. I think we're up to almost a quarter of a million subscribers now and 150 million views. And, you know, that's, I think it's not us right here at Third Phase, the base that finds these UFOs. It's the world that have their eyes on. We got a quarter of a million UFO investigators out there. It's always, uh, there's people out there on it so i think when you come out you're going to be feeling a lot of that and i hope to get the word out to everybody that you know art's back <laughs> well i hope you do uh that's right midnight in the desert and uh the place to go to help us out and subscribe now it's going to be a free show folks it's going to be free to everybody 
But for five bucks a month, you know, they get uh, to download the show anytime they want. They get to send me messages while I'm on the air, all that sort of thing. So hopefully people will support us. And as I mentioned, five bucks a month at rfl.com. And let me let me throw this in too. Not only do you get the podcast, which is the same price and better than in other podcasts from other people, you also get the opportunity to actually ask Art questions directly. If it's a good question, you can ask it on ArtBell.com through the wormhole as a time traveler, and he will ask the question to the guest if you're a member. Uh, by, by way of a quick promo, let's see if uh, you recognize this voice. Want to take a ride? From the high desert and the great American Southwest, this is Midnight in the Desert. There you go, a little tea. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, you know, Art, uh, we're going to be continuously, the footage comes in almost on a daily basis. I know uh, you're going to be taking calls from around the world, but I'd sure like to uh, share sometimes when there's breaking news video or information comes in. I sure would like to get your uh, feedback, and maybe your listeners might want to take a look at what's coming in right here at Third Phase. All right. Sure well, appreciate I've the got, collaboration. I've got a hotline number, which I won't give you right now, but uh, okay. I will give you, and so the answer to that is absolutely yes. You know, Art, you know, it's a pleasure right here at Third Phase Moon. Honorable uh, just speaking with you right here. And um, we're looking forward to uh, future collaboration. Good luck with your show, and uh, we'll be listening, standing by. Blake, Brett, and uh, Dr. J, thank you all very much. And it's coming July 20th, folks. That's right. DarkMatterDigitalNetwork.com and ArtBell.com. Wow. Everybody heard it. The legend himself, Art Bell, right here at Third Phase of the Moon. The links will be below to his radio show. Everybody, stay tuned. Third Phase of the Moon, Blake Cousins. We'll see everybody again next time. Thanks, Dr. J and Art Bell. Bye-bye. <laughs>